In an emergency, please evacuate the Don Haskins Center. Head for the nearest aisle. Proceed to the closest exit. Walk to ground level and exit the arena. Once outside, walk as far away as possible. Please follow the instructions of arena ushers and security staff. Help those that need your assistance. Above all, keep cool and exit in an orderly manner.
Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, friends and family, welcome to Clinton High School's 2019 Commencement Ceremony. <laughs> Leading the Commencement Ceremony is Jared Andrew Chacon. From the junior class who is carrying the Commencement Banner and leading the Cabinet Board of Trustees and honored guests to this stage. ISD ceremonial mace and gonfalons begin today's commencement ceremony. Conveying scholarship, confidence, and triumph, the Clint ISD ceremonial mace symbolizes the governing authority and integrity of the Board of Trustees. The district seal, boldly mounted atop the staff, symbolizes that the board is a custodian of excellence in learning and scholarship for all Clint ISD students. The mace bearer, Tania Pamela Castillo Munoz, a distinguished student chosen by the school opens commencement by carrying the mace as a reminder of the commitment of the Board of Trustees to provide the finest education and scholarly opportunity for our students. Adding pride and dignity to the ceremony, the mace is followed by two gonfalons, which signify Clint ISD and Clint High School. The banners are carried today by students Cesar Medina and Joel Valles who were both selected for their outstanding achievements. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please stand to welcome the 2019 class of Clint High School, who will be escorted by Principal Garrett Ritchie and Clint ISD Superintendent, Dr. Juan I. Martinez.
<laughs> Please remain standing for the presentation of colors, our national anthem, the Pledge of Allegiance, and the Texas Pledge. The colors are presented this evening by the Clint High School JRTC Color Guard. The JRTC is under the direction of Cadet Command Sergeant Major Brandon Palos. Our national anthem will be performed by the Clint ISD Honor Choir. The Pledge of Allegiance and Texas Pledge will be recited by Daniela Hernandez. to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible.
may be seated. You may be seated. Well, good evening and welcome, Mighty Lion parents, families, friends, honored guests, and a huge welcome to the class of 2019. My name is Garrett Ritchie and I am the very proud principal of Clint High School. This evening marks a huge milestone in our graduates' lives and in the history of Clint High School. To our board members, with, this, uh, with us tonight, Dr. Martinez, Mr. Littlejohn, thank you for making this event happen. This is truly spectacular. <clears throat> and to our Mighty Lion seniors, thank you very much for the courage to break traditions and allow us to celebrate in this beautiful and cool location. It is everything that I expected and then some. <coughs> At this time, it is my privilege to call senior president and NHS president Mirko Ortiz to the podium for a student welcome and introduction of our special guests here tonight. Good evening. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to our class of 2019 graduation ceremony. Today we have very special guests with us today, including our board members, board president Arlene Parada, first vice president Claudia Perez, second vice president Arturo Rocky Cruz, board member Mary Macias, board member Jaime Lopez, our superintendent, Dr. Juan Martinez. Our assistant superintendent of accountability and student achievement, Mark Ayala. Assistant superintendent of secondary curriculum and instruction, James Littlejohn. Assistant superintendent of elementary curriculum and instruction, Jennifer Parker. Our cabinet members, Chief Human Resources Officer, Rene Chavez. Chief Technology Officer, Miguel Verduzco. Director of Public Relations, Laura Cade. Director of Transportation, Jonathan Powell. Isleta del Sur Pueblo War Captain, Javier Loera. Isleta del Sur Pueblo Higher Education Committee Secretary, Rosa Hernandez. UTEP Professor, Dr. Angus Mungo. And our very special guest, our honored student, Isaac Mendez. Our Assistant Principal, Ruth Lara. Our assistant principal, Teresa Henches. Our counselor, Ms. Cynthia Paz. Our counselor, Elizabeth Flowers. And our college readiness facilitator, Elizabeth Basillas. With us today, we also have our principals from Horizon High School, Elena Acosta. Principal from Mountain View High School, Robert Trejo. Principal from Clint ISD Early College Academy, Edmund Martinez. Principal from Williams Surratt Elementary School, Melissa Williams. Principal from Clint Junior High School, Noemi Hernandez. Principal from East Montana Middle School, Dr. Juanita Guerra. Principal from Horizon Middle School, Veronica Candelaria. Principal from Ricardo Estrada Middle School, Lorraine Vidales. We are gathered here today under the bright sky near blooming cotton fields on a beautiful day in our very own home field. Oh wait, that was previous years. I am Mirka Ortiz, current senior class and National Honor Society president. The most significant event in a student's life is none other than graduation. And since it is the end of this stage in our education, it brings us a mixture of joy and pain. Joy for reaching our goals and pain for saying goodbye to the people who we grew up with. The individuals sitting here today have worked many hours, days, weeks, months, and years to be able to walk across this stage. High school has been an unforgettable journey that has prepared us for what the future may bring. These past four years have involved some of the most memorable and influential moments of our lives. Individually, our experiences here are unique, but together we share a common bond as members of the Clint High School Class of 2019. I am personally filled with excitement and anticipation as the, ne as the next stage in my life is about to begin. But without the support of our parents, families, guardians, 
and our teachers, we may have not made it to this day. As I say goodbye to you all, I also want to say, here goes to the endless football nights. Here goes to constant arguments of where we would, ha we would have dinner. Here goes to la clica and pink jackets. Here goes to group chats full of homework dancers. Here goes to ducking comedy videos. Here goes to Coach Martinez's inspirational speeches. Here goes to Midland trips play for playoffs. Here goes to pep rallies. Here goes to Alabama. Here goes to soy sauce. Here goes to prom, homecoming, military balls. Here goes to textbooks we never opened. Here goes to Quizlet. Here goes to high school. Aquí va por las enseñanzas de la vida. Aquí va por el apoyo incondicional de, la, de mi familia y de las familias de todos los que estamos aquí. Aquí va por las conversaciones a medianoche cuando los proyectos se entregaban el siguiente día. Aquí va por las ojeras que simbolizan nuestro esfuerzo y sueños que aún nos faltan por cumplir. Aquí va por las mañanas en que íbamos 10 en un carro de cuatro personas. Aquí va por los estacionamientos de Walmart a medianoche. La clica me entenderá. Aquí va por lo más bonito de high school. Mis amigos. Aquí va por todos y cada uno de ustedes que están aquí presentes. Y por último, quiero aprovechar. Como este es el sonido más fuerte, quisiera mandar un abrazo hasta el cielo. Mamá, logré cosechar la semilla que en mí sembraste. Te amo. Wherever you go, do great things. Be extraordinary. But never forget that once a lion, always a lion. Thank you all for coming. Enjoy the rest of this evening. Thank you, Mirka. Excellent job. At this time, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome to the podium my two outstanding assistant principals, Ms. Lada and Ms. Henches, as they recognize our Lionheart recipients. Good evening. The Lionheart Award is an award that symbolizes the very <laughs> essence of what it is, means to be a Clint Lion. We give this award to 10 of our most outstanding seniors who are nominated by the faculty of Clint High School and voted on by a committee. The Lionheart Award is not necessarily given to the most popular, most athletic, or smartest students. This award is given to students who have exemplified courage in the face of tough situations, have tenacity in reaching their goals, and ferocity to overcome any obstacles that stand in their way. Unlike previous years, this year, the number of nominations for the Lionheart Award was outstanding. While every candidate was well-deserving, we can only recognize 10. The Lionheart Award is a award that symbolizes the essence of what it means to be a Clint Lion. We give this award to 10 of our students most successful, nominated by the teachers of the school and voted by a committee. The Lionheart Award no necesariamente se da a los estudiantes más populares, más atléticos o más inteligentes. Este premio se da a los estudiantes que afrentan a situaciones difíciles, tienen la tenacidad para alcanzar sus objetivos y la ferocidad para superar cualquier obstáculo que se interponga en su camino. A diferencia de años anteriores, este año el número de nominaciones fue asombroso. Aún así, solo podemos reconocer a 10 estudiantes. Our first recipient is a model of what a young lady should be. Her nomination read, she is a young lady with goals the size of Texas. By exemplifying true class, respect, perseverance, and dignity, she has embraced what it is to be a Clint Lion. She is a hard worker whose smile lights up the halls of Clint High School every single day. She is passionate about her future and without a doubt will achieve all of the goals she has set. Ms. Gabrielle Danda. be deceived by the next nominee's quiet demeanor. She has gone from being extremely shy to being a well-spoken, assertive young lady who can hold her own in any situation. She always demonstrates strength of character, dignity, and integrity. She's an overcomer who works hard and lets nothing stop her from being successful. Ms. Alexis Marie Sines. Our third recipient 
is the first generation in his family to attend college. He is courageous, tenacious, and fiercely determined to do whatever it takes to be successful. Life has not always been easy, but he has never let that stop him. Because of his fearless personality, this young man will certainly have a future filled with great success. Mr. Leroy Rico. The teacher who nominated this student wrote, I am amazed by her will, perseverance, and her make it happen determination. This student is warm, friendly, and always has a smile on her face. You'd never know the adversity she has faced by looking at her. When life was turned upside down by the death of her mother, she didn't give up. She picked herself up, dusted herself off, set her face like flint, and kept moving forward. If it's one thing this young lady knows is that the difference between winning and losing is not quitting. Ms. Mirka Adilene Ortiz. <laughs> October 5th, 2015 is probably a day this next recipient will never forget. It was her first day at Clint High School. She didn't speak a word of English, didn't write a word of English, didn't read a word of English, and didn't understand one single word of English. Today, she is teaching her mom English. Hardworking, kind, and respectful, she puts forth her very best in everything she does. This young lady shines as she walks the halls of Clint High School. Miss Suni Maria Infante Aguilar. Always a welcoming smile throughout the school hallways and the epitome of a gentleman, the next recipient represents the true essence of the lion heart. Determined to excel in all he does, this young man challenged himself academically, taking advanced courses and achieving the highest SAT this year on campus, as well as serving as a mentor for his peers and those younger than him. While he was always going 100 miles an hour in 15 different directions, this young man is a model of how to take everything in stride and always putting his best foot forward with a smile on his face. Mr. Andres Garcia. <laughs> the next recipient is a young lady that committed most of her time as, as a lion to caring for those around her and training others to do the same. Serving as a student trainer for three years, she cared for athletes from August to May without interruption and offered overlapping sports. Exemplifying school pride, dedication, and a caring heart, this young lady plans to continue tending to the injured after studying kinesiology at UTEP and becoming an athletic trainer. Ms. Erin Mendoza. Often perceived as a reserved, quiet young lady, the next recipient has been at the core of our campus spirit since she arrived four years ago. Dedicated to the basketball team in whatever capacity she could help the team in since her freshman year, she later found her niche as the one responsible for planning, organizing, and executing such events as the homecoming, blood drives, and the Surratt Fall Festival. Your Stuco president, Ms. Daniela Hernandez. I have often heard teachers say that the next recipient is the type of student every teacher hopes their, ch their own children will grow up to be like. Respectful, kind, humble, yet ever ambitious. He is a hardworking, thoughtful animal lover who always loves, excuse me, who always looks for the positive aspect of difficult situations. He is definitely one of a kind who will greatly impact our community after graduation. Mr. Kevin Avila.
final recipient is a young lady who exemplifies what being a lion is all about. As a member of various clubs and organizations, she has excelled both academically in all her many activities, maintaining a positive attitude no matter what. This young lady never settles for less than the best and is not afraid to question, debate, and understand the why. She is of the highest moral character and never wavers on her integrity, grit, and dedication. Ms. Laura Lynn Chavez. Please, another round of applause for our Lionheart Award recipients. Thank you. Uh, and now, at this time, it is my privilege to call to the podium our College Readiness Facilitator, Ms. Elizabeth Basias, to recognize our student scholarships. High School's Class of 2019 worked tirelessly in completing college applications, scholarships, and financial aid applications while balancing the completion of numerous requirements for graduation. Their hard work paid off. We are proud to announce that the Class of 2019 has brought in over $12.1 million in scholarship money. At this time, Students who were awarded a scholarship through a university, community college, or technical program, or enrolled in a military branch, please stand and be recognized by your peers, family, and community. to recognize a student who was selected as a semi-finalist for the Terry Foundation Scholarship through the University of Texas at El Paso. The Terry Foundation Scholarship is a private organization based in Houston that awards scholarships to high school graduates at 13 Texas public universities. This scholarship is awarded to finalists and covers all expenses related to college. As a semi-finalist, Mirka Ortiz was selected from a competitive pool of applicants to interview for the Terry Foundation Scholarship, which was held at UTEP. She interviewed in front of a panel of several Terry Foundation Scholarship Committee members and was notified, not notified at the outcome after a few long weeks. We are proud to announce that Mirka was, a, was selected as a recipient of the Terry Foundation Scholarship. The Terry Scholarship will cover her full cost of, of attendance at the University of Texas at El Paso, and she is set to start in the fall 2019. Mirka Ortiz, will you please stand and be recognized? You may be seated. Thank you, Ms. Basias. At this time, I'd like to ask Ms. Lada to join me at the podium as we recognize our top 10 graduates. Number 10, Esteban Gallegos. Number 9, Carlos Eduardo Martinez. Number eight, Eliana Sanchez. Number seven, Sydney Abby Gonzalez. Number six, Andres Garcia. Number five, Sebastian Elias Barraza. Number four, 
Number four, Mirka Adilene Ortiz. Number three, Tanya Pamela Castillo Munoz. Flint High School salutatorian, Laura Lynn Chavez. And the 2019 Clint High School valedictorian, Clinton Sheridan Shar IV. Please, another round of applause for our top 10 graduates. Congratulations. I would like to ask uh, Hector Jimenez Flores to join me on stage to help the class of 2019 recognize the superintendent, Dr. Martinez, with a senior gift. As I worked throughout this year on the yearbook, I was able to develop a, philo a philosophy and a quote that I would like to share. A picture is like an opportunity. If you don't take it, you will regret it. We are firm believers that a person should always take a photo to remember a moment, because you might not regret doing it, maybe not today or tomorrow, but in the future when you most want to remember, you will regret it. The yearbook class of 2019 worked hard to capture beautiful moments this year, this school year, and it has become the best yearbook I have personally invested time and work done with such a passion that came from within. It is such an honor as a clean lion and as an editor-in-chief to present this yearbook of 2019 out of the blue to Dr. Martinez. As a last request, as an editor-in-chief of 2019 yearbook, and as a clean lion, as I conclude this honor presentation, I would like to ask you to enjoy all the moments captured in this book. Escalera. <laughs> Just so you know, I reminded him of that. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, congratulations to the class of 2019. Let me hear some noise. <laughs> Students, all of us here are very, very proud of you. Very, very proud of you. This is your moment. Uh, please enjoy this moment. This is one of those occasions in your life that will not come back again as a high school graduate. But as a time, this is a time for you to celebrate your accomplishments. You've waited for 12 long years for this occasion. So enjoy this moment, for this is your time, your story, and the beginning of an adventure ahead of you. There is another reality here today. The reality is that your parents is their moment too. So families, please enjoy this moment. Friends and family, celebrate with your children. No longer children, I know you didn't like that word. But let's celebrate with them. So let me hear some noise from you for our graduates.
Hoy, hoy es un momento especial para sus hijos, sus hijas, sus nietos y sus sobrinos. Es por eso que hicimos lo me el mejor esfuerzo posible para organizar una ceremonia de graduación digna al esfuerzo de cada uno de ellos. Queridos padres, abuelitos, hermanos, hermanas, familiares y amigos de los graduandes, de graduandos a nombre de todos los maestros, los administradores, la mesa directiva y el mío en particular, quiero agradecerles por su apoyo y, y por, por permitirnos ser parte de la educación de sus hijos. Este momento lo dedicamos a cada uno de ellos. Esperamos que esta ceremonia sea también el principio de un futuro exitoso para todos ellos y cada uno de nuestros estudiantes. Muchas gracias a todos ustedes por acompañarnos y por ser parte de este momento tan especial para sus hijos. Muchas, muchísimas felicidades y muchas gracias. Graduates, they say that we don't remember the events of our lives in large pieces or in chronological order. Rather, we remember our lives by special occasions, special moments that are meaningful in our lives. For example, we remember weddings, baptisms, anniversaries, vacations, final goodbyes. But for the years in high schools, we rem in high school, we remember Well, don't tell your parents that I said this, please. But we remember the first kiss. We remember the first date. We remember a breakup. Maybe we remember prom. And of course, we remember graduation. It is for this reason that we wanted to make this moment of your graduation a very special moment. We paid close attention to all the details, the stage, the music, the entrance, everything to make sure that this moment was worthy of your accomplishment. We also wanted to make this occasion a defining moment in your life. We wanted this occasion to be the acme of your senior year. And you're looking at me, the what? Well, final assignment, you have your phones, look for the word acme. A-C-M-E. That means the highest point the most important point in your achievement of excellence. So you just learn a new word, the acme of your graduation. And I hope that we accomplish that for you this evening. This is your moment. And to commemorate this moment and this occasion, you receive the medallion that I see you wearing proudly. This medallion is given to you on behalf of your teachers, your administrators, the school board, And more importantly, this medallion is given to you on behalf of all the entire Clint family. Please look at the back of your medallion. Just look at the back, turn it around. And it says, what does it read? The moment. This is your moment. This is your moment, a moment to celebrate your accomplishments, a moment to dream and to hope, a moment to envision the beginning of a bright future ahead of you. And in the words of Michael Josephson, take pride on how, how uh, take pride in how far you've come. You come, have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. I'm going to pause here for a minute. Graduates among you, there is a person known in El Paso, around El Paso, as Patty Diaz. She is a co-host of Power 102 Morning Show with Patty Diaz and Mike D. Patty is also the program director of Power 102 and Hot 93.5. She graduated from Clint High School in 1990. However, because she made a mistake before graduation, back then the rules did not allow her to walk. And she shared her story for the last uh, almost 30 years with pain and, you know, seeing the graduations every summer. She wished she had walked. Well, this year, We surprised her at the radio station. The uh, school board, all of the school board allowed us to do these things. So thank you, school board, for allowing us to do these things. And we invited her to walk. So Patty, this is your day also. This is your moment.
Patty. Every summer there will be no more tears of regret or painful memories. Let your tears be tears of joy and celebration with your son, who will be on the stage to honor you with a high school diploma. Congratulations. And graduates, this is, as I said, your moment. Look back only to remember the good times, the special occasions, the fun memories. And if you made a mistake, if you made a mistake that you regret, then thankfully I want to thank the school board for changing our policies. We will not prevent you from walking. We want you to learn from that mistake. Because this moment, we want it to be a transitional moment. If you also made a mistake that you regret, forget about it. Make this moment a transition to a new you, a new beginning. Look forward to a better future and don't make that mistake again. This is your moment to celebrate and the moment to transform the beginning of your careers into a better future for each of you. You know, today we are fortunate also to have a special guest right here with us. His name is Isaac Mendes, and I'm going to ask Isaac to please come to the front. Isaac graduated from Clint High School in 2014. It is my pleasure to welcome Isaac back to this graduation, not only as a graduate, a proud graduate of Clint High School, but also as a graduate of the University of Texas at El Paso. Isaac graduated with a degree in mathematics and a minor in secondary education. I am proud to tell you that Mr. Um, Isaac Mendes is now a teacher of mathematics with our high school at Horizon High School. And Mr. Mendes, he is no longer Isaac, he is Mr. Mendes. Graduates, he graduated from college in just three and a half years from UTEP. He will begin his master's in mathematics next spring. Congratulations, Mr. Mendes. You are without a doubt a role model to our graduates, and we want to welcome you back as a graduate today. <laughs> Mr. Mendes, we have a little token. Mr. Ritchie will give you a token of our appreciation uh, as an honor graduate. Students, I, listen to me, graduates. That will be you. We want you to come back to tell us of the great things that you did. Just three and a half years ago, he was sitting where you are. He was a little hotter, but he is here. So students, we want you to come back one day. Not long from today, maybe four years, three years, five years, six years. You can come back as a, with a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or who knows, a doctor's degree. We want you to come back just like Mr. Mendes today. Finally, graduates, I pray that you will fulfill all of your dreams and aspirations. I pray that you feel inspired to never be afraid to dream big, big run strong, and soar high to, to build new and powerful, powerful moments in your life. Graduates, I say, I say this with all my heart. May God bless you and give you a great future ahead of you. Congratulations, class of 2019. We are extremely proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Martinez. At this time, it is my great privilege to call Laura Lynn Chavez to the podium for her salutatory address. <clears throat> As Drake once said, I'm way up, I feel blessed. And this is true. I feel that I'm very blessed. But with great blessings comes great responsibility. I was under the impression that after senior grades were finalized on Wednesday, that I wasn't going to have to worry about turning anything in. But then literally the next day, I was called into the principal's office and was told that I had to write a graduation speech for being ranked number two. 
it was a bittersweet moment. But with that aside, good evening. Parents, teachers, faculty, staff, and most important, class of 2019. Welcome to our celebration. This evening, I'm going to deliver three things to you. My thank yous, a few words of wisdom, and a recap of our four years of high school. I'd like to start off with my thank yous. I would like to take the time to thank the entire Clint District for giving us a beautiful ceremony and a great education. All the administration, Mr. Ritchie, Ms. Lada, Ms. Henches, faculty, staff, and a special thank you to my counselors for bearing with me when I needed a schedule change or college advice. And to my teachers, especially to Mr. Bandu, Ms. Boutwell, Ms. G, Ms. M, Ms. Prieto, and Ms. Crockett for not only teaching me from the school curriculum, but also personal help and advice in life. Also, a special shout out to Mr. Barragan, Mr. Luna, and Mr. Bramlett. You have all helped shape the person that I am this day, and for that, I'm grateful. Friends, when I first moved to Clint, I was afraid of the new and afraid of the people I was going to meet. But like Hector said in the yearbook, I arrived here not making any friends. Instead, I made a family. I'm proud to say that I am a Clint Lion. Mami, papi, hola. La verdad, no existen palabras en el diccionario para describir el inmenso agradecimiento que les tengo. O sea, wow. <laughs> Literal, se nota que Diosito me ama y me ama mucho porque me bendició con los mejores padres. Y aunque no lo diga lo suficiente, los amo. I'm sorry. Aunque a veces tengamos argumentos y que me enoje porque me manden a lavar los trastes. <laughs> Aunque sea su paloma negra, yo sé que me aman y yo los amo a ustedes. A ustedes y a mis hermanas Jocelyn y Melanie. A la que le dicen mi gemela, Brianna Alvarado. Y a mi otra hermana que no es mi hermana, Jazz. Y también a nuestro nuevo integrante de la familia, mi sobrinito Mateo. Los amo de aquí hasta la luna a pasitos de tortuga. Pero dejando claro que hablo de la luna que se encuentra en la galaxia Max 0647, porque esa es la galaxia más lejana de nuestro planeta. Gracias, los amo. Now to begin, who's ready to graduate? I want to re recap our four years of, of high school. So to start off, Freshman year was a puzzle to all of us. We wondered who we were gonna hang out with, what clothes we were gonna wear since we no longer had to wear middle school uniforms, and which teachers were cool to pick. Fortunately, we got through it. We picked up on some of the hacks, like which classes to pick, <coughs> Ag class. Or coming to the realization that when you were first brought into our school as eighth graders, you thought you were going to get lost in our big campus, even though it's literally just one long hallway. And with that being said, we pulled through and saw the small piece of the puzzle moving forward into sophomore year. Sophomore year was a weird transition. We were older, but still considered underclassmen. At this point in time, we were still thought of graduation being far, far away. solved about half of the puzzle. And lucky for us, next came junior year, which meant we were officially upperclassmen. The beginning of getting more AP classes and enrolling in dual credit courses. Now we weren't worrying about what we were gonna wear to class, we were worrying about what we were gonna wear to prom, and most importantly, who we were gonna go with. This was the year that we officially took our SAT test and our last star test. 
Also, not to forget the year we actually started worrying about attendance thanks to our hardworking assistant principal, Ms. Henches. And at last, that came to an end, and we're almost done solving the puzzle. We had three things left to worry about. We had to figure out what we wanted to do for the rest of our lives, whether it was college, vocational school, working, or joining the military. We also had to apply for school, scholarships, financial aid, or finding recruiters. And last but not least, we had to worry about actually completing everything to get cleared to graduate high school. As we solve these, we have to make sure to watch for senioritis, which let me tell you is definitely a real thing. But if you've made all the right moves before and said everything right, then it only takes a few things and you're done. Each of us, in our own way, with our own friends, we came to the end and reached it. We're all sitting here now and we're ready to graduate. Now we can officially say goodbye to high school and hello to life. As we're taking off, I want to leave you with one thing. Failure is not a permanent condition. In other words, don't give up. I know we've all heard those around us say, have something to fall back on. But I tell you right now, don't fall back on something, fall forward. If I fall, I don't want to fall back. I want to fall forward. I figured this way, I'd at least be able to see what I'm going to hit. Let me give you an example. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments. Did you know that? I didn't, because his 1,001st was the light bulb. And that's the one we all know. And for those of you who didn't want a history lesson, I'll put it in sports terms. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant has missed more shots in the regular season than any other NBA player in history. But you don't hear about the misses, unless you look it up the way I did. You hear about the success. Because even if you're not into basketball, I know you haven't failed to hear someone yell, Kobe, as they aim a crumbled paper at a trash can. Despite his many, 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 many misses, it's his name who's heard, who's idolized. You will fail at some point, and you will lose, and you will embarrass yourself, and you will suck at something. And I know it's not very traditional to say it, but it's inevitable. We must learn to accept it and not let it destroy us. Remember, fall forward. Y por último, no más porque me lo pidió y se lo prometí, un shout out a Dylan Escareño, que nos alegró en high school con su guitarra y sus cantadas y con su bonita música. Clase de 2019, ya se nos acabó el corrido. Gracias Dios, thank you God, and congratulations to Clinton High School Class of 2019. Thank you, Laura Lynn. Outstanding words of wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen, Mighty Lions, please help me welcome to the podium Glenn Shar for his valedictorian speech. Good evening, everyone sitting here at Clint High School's Class of 2019 graduation ceremony. Before I start, let me tell you a quote from ancient Chinese philosopher and writer Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu once said, new beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. I would like you all to keep this quote in mind as I continue. Now, additionally, I would also like to thank everyone that has helped me not only through my high school career, but also through, life, through my life, up to this point. Thank you, my friends, who helped me when I was a stranger who transferred into Clint High School and remained my friends four years later. Thank you to all my teachers I've had, 
especially the first sergeants in JROTC, for all you have helped guide me through my high school career and have helped lead me to where I am now. And finally, and most importantly, I would like to thank my parents, my father and my mother, who not only brought me into this world, but have also provided me with everything I have needed. And as such, I would not be standing here before you all without their support. So I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything. With that taken care of, <laughs> Let me say to all of you who are graduating today, congratulations on accomplishing this milestone in many of your and your family's lives. Despite all the hardships that have been thrown at you since freshman year, from tests to social pressure, you all have managed to persevere despite all these setbacks and look at the frustrations of your struggles. Today may seem painful, after all, in just a few hours, all of you will have walked across the stage and in a sense, you would be leaving most, if not all, of your friends behind. Some of who are childhood friends that you have grown up with, but remember that once you have walked across the stage and obtained your diploma, you will be free to pursue your life as you see fit and follow the dreams and hopes that you wish to pres prescribe yourself wherever they may lead. With this chapter of your life coming to a close, you graduates will be official, independent adults in the vast world. And while it may seem scary, and there will be times when you're hard on your luck and nothing seems to be going right, do not lose hope. Look back on everything you've endured in high school and remember that time will go on and the future, whatever it may hold, will come unrelenting and without stop which means that you do not have time to feel sorry for yourself and resign yourself to whatever may seem easiest and will end up burning the potential in each and every one of you, but to take the reins of your life and keep following your dreams. And even if it means facing adversity. So do not view the world as a place of hardships and dread, but as a world, wonderful place teeming with people from every walk of life and opportunities waiting to be grasped. And as such, do not view today as a sad day, but as a day for celebrating endings and new beginnings. After all, Lao Tzu did say new beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. Thank you and congratulations again, class of 2019. Thank you, Clinton. At this time, I would like Dr. Martinez to come back to the podium and certify our graduates. I hereby certify that the students of the 2019 class of Clinton High School have successfully completed all required courses set forth by the Texas State Board of Education and the Clint Independent School District Board of Trustees. And therefore, I now officially declare the eligible students in the class of 2019 as graduates of Clint High School this 29th day of May 2019. Congratulations, you're officially graduates of Clint High School. May I please ask the board members to join me on stage to help award our diplomas. Guys, are we ready to get diplomas? Yeah! All right, can you please join me on stage? Let's go. Clinton Shar. Hmm? 
Laura Lynn Chavez. Tanya Castillo Muñoz. Mirka Ortiz. Sebastián Barraza. Andrés García. Sidney González. Iliana Sánchez. Carlos Martínez. Esteban Gallegos. Brianna Alvarado. Kevin Ávila. Chris Campoya. Kissy Carvajal Rivera. Abigail Carrillo. Gabriel De Anda. Aileen Domínguez. Salma Duarte. Dylan Escareño. Alondra Estrada. Adrian Flores. Gabriel Hernández. Hector Jiménez Flores. Adrian Juarez. Aileen Macias. Destiny Marine. Caesar Medina. Sydney Moreno. Genesis Ogas. Manuel Peña. Jordan Powell. Catalina Quintana. Pro Ramírez. Luis Ramírez. 
Okay. Michelle Ramirez Salazar. Randy Ramsey. Jocelyn Rivas. Jasmine Robert Robledo. Jalen Rosales. Ashley Valdez. Marco Valdez. Joel Valles. Trinity Veloz. Patricia Rose Stanwick, also known as Patty Diaz. Alaysia Aguirre. <laughs> Ricardo Alarcón. <laughs> Rochelle Aldaz. <laughs> Raúl Valle. Angel Alvarez. <laughs> Stephanie Alvarez. <laughs> Andrea Arriaga. <laughs> Joanna Astorga. Alondra Aviles. Elizabeth Barragan. Marco Barraza. Brian Bonilla. Bianca Brito. Josué Bustillos. Jairo Cabrera. Y Dalí Carrillo. Angela Castañeda. Karen Castro. Eduardo Cervantes Vázquez. Juan Chávez.
Jerry Cruz. Matthew De La Rosa. Heather Denny. Matthew Dominguez. Asael Elenes. Ruby Enciso. Alyssa Espinosa. Jose Espriu. Kevin Estrada. Areli Federico. Nick Elliot Gallardo. Jesus Gandara. Cristian Garcia. Jasmine Garcia. John Garcia. Raúl García Padilla. Javier Gómez. Michael Gómez. Gabriel Gonzalez. Victor Gonzalez. Marcos Griego. Matthew Gutierrez. Javier Guzman. Daniela Hernández. Josué Hernández Chavarría. Leslie Hernández. Rodrigo Hernández. Suni Infante Aguilar. Alan Licón. Nicole Lizalde Cobos. Misty Lopez. Samantha Lopez. Valerie Lucero Flores. Yeah. 
Victor Maldonado. Steve Martin. Juan Martinez. Samantha Martinez. Stacy Medina. Evelyn Melero Olaves. Jimmy Mendieta. Aaron Mendoza. Javier Morales. Jessica Lucero Morales. Eric Moreno. Melanie Nava. Steve Obregón. Angel Olave. <laughs> Alexandra Olivas. <laughs> Javier Ordaz. Gómez. <laughs> Jesús Ornelas Acosta. <laughs> Catalina Pargas. <laughs> Victoria Peña. Pérez Matthew Pérez Jonathan Porras Christopher Prieto. <laughs> Nayeli Quiñones Anguiano. <laughs> Anime Quiroz. Linda Ramírez Corona. Yes! Ruby Ramírez. Abby Ray.
Cynthia Reyes. Leroy Rico. Jaime Rincón. Felipe Rocha Córdoba. Brandon Rodriguez. Jorge Rodriguez Villa. Joshua Rodriguez Rivera. Alexis Sainz. Brian Salcido. Mario Saldaña. Ethan Sanchez. Lorenzo Sánchez. Nelson Sánchez. Raymond Sánchez. Gabriel Silva. America Torres. Hugo Torres Espino. Martín Valadez. Hazael Valdivia. Javier Valles. Abigail Vidal. Abraham Yanez Varela. Daisy Zepeda. That was exciting. Congratulations, Mighty Lions. At this time, it is my pleasure to tell you that you may move your tassel to the left, signifying that you are now officially the class of 2019 of Clint High School.
And let me be the first to congratulate you on a job well done. Welcome to the very prestigious group of individuals who call themselves Clint High School alumni. I am so very proud of you all. As a class, you have accomplished many great things. Best of all, every single senior in the class of 2019 is graduating. That's fantastic. We counted down to zero. Thank you for your hard work and your dedication. We left no lion behind. With that said, before I send you off as graduates, I want to leave you with three simple but pow powerful words. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Yes, this might be the unofficial slogan of the Marines and also the slogan of Robert Crawford's motivational coaching seminars, but it's also the way to attack life. I believe that regardless of who you are or what you do, our ability to put these three words into action is success. Improvise, adapt, and overcome is a powerful way to think of any person who is faced with an obstacle or an object in life. Laura Lynn mentioned this evening that a great part of success is failure. And I want to tell you that the better you can improvise, adapt, and overcome these failures, the better off you'll be. Go out and live your dreams, Mighty Lions. And when life gets in the way, improvise, adapt, and overcome to make your dreams a reality. Mighty Lions, class of 2019, I'm so very proud of each and every one of you. I will miss you dearly. And remember, once a lion, always a lion. May God bless you, each and every one of you. And please remember, you always have a home at Clint High School. At this time, please stand for your alma mater. May the guests on the stage please join us to recognize our graduates. gentlemen this concludes our graduation ceremony you may meet your graduates outside
supposed to fix your red cap message. Now we're good. <laughs> Sorry, man, I need to see it. Oh, I think it's because I have it down here. Oh.